you how to add QR codes into your test cards that you'll be using in your classrooms. I've already set up my test card master on my Google Doc so it's easy for me to access and now all I need to do is add my QR codes for my solutions. There are two really easy ways for you to insert the answers into the document so I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to go start with the simple answer to card number one which is write an expression for this sentence, five less than twelve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website called qrstuff.com. In order to make my QR code, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select how I want to put the code in. Now it's really simple if you're going to go ahead and choose two options. There's one to do a website URL and then there is also a way to go ahead and do plain text. This is really simple because you click on it and you just type in your answer. So if you remember, we were doing 5 less than 12. So all I need to do is type in 12 minus 5 and there's my plain text answer. Already I've generated my QR code preview. If you want to have color because you're printing color, you can change the color here. But I have my black QR code and it's ready to go. I can either download the QR code to my computer and save it in a location that's easy for you, or if you're trying to do it quickly and you're willing to make sure that you're organized enough that you're not going to lose the QR codes or get confused by the codes, go ahead and just drag it to your desktop. And this will work on a Mac or a PC. When you go back to your task card, all you have to do is drag and drop that code onto your task card. Now the code's available for the students to scan when they get it, when you have it printed out, and they should be ready to use that to get to the actual plain answer text. If you're going to go ahead and show a student how to do your work, I generated one right here on how I would solve an equation. So I've created that problem on one of my task cards. That one is down here on number 15. So what I want to do is not only have my students solve the problem, but see how to solve it and see how their answer would be correct. So in order to get that easy to view answer for my students, I'm going to take my link to my Google Doc and go ahead and put it there. Now make sure your Google Docs are set to visible to all instead of private so that they can scan it and not have to have any codes or invitations from you to look at it. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my URL for my Google Doc right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it over to my QR generator. Now I use my shortcuts to copy and paste it. If you are not sure about it, you can go ahead and use your menu on your computer to copy and paste it. Take it to my QR code generator. And last time I was on here I used plain text, but right now I'm going to select website URL. Once I'm there, I'm just going to go ahead and paste my URL. It's generating my new QR code right here. And I will go ahead and I will click it. I'm just going to drag and drop it over here right now, even though I put it in as a download. And I will take it back to my task card masters, insert the code, and we are ready to go for our students. So those are some very simple and easy ways for you to go ahead and have those task cards ready with your QR codes for your students to scan with iPads, I, um, phones, you've got your iPods, you have all kinds of Droid devices that can use QR readers. So you should have a lot of opportunities for your students to be able to do that as independent practice or working with other students. Hopefully this makes sense for you, but if you have questions, you can always email or contact me. My name is Alyssa Tomasic and I work at Eunice Middle School.